Hello everybody, it's Barry from Vanel Photography. Today we're going to show you how to make a firewall. We're going to show you what items are required to make the firewall. We're going to talk about safety aspects because playing with fire can be potentially very dangerous. Stay safe. Uh, following that we'll show you a behind the scenes video of the Ultima GTR shoot which will give you a good idea of how it's done on location. Uh, before I continue, can I just point in the direction of the description? There's lots of information in there and links to items used within this video. Okay, so without further ado, let's go and see what we need. Okay everyone, now we're going to show you all the items that are required to make your firewall. Now remember, we're playing with fire, things can get nasty very quickly, so bring along a fire extinguisher. I've got two, a CO2 extinguisher and a powder one. Now if you've never used a fire extinguisher before, I'd highly recommend that you watch this video here and also this video here. Next up, a damp towel, and this is placed at the end of your run. You'll drop your strap or your rope into this, you'll fold it over, it kills the oxygen and puts the flame out. I generally use Coleman's fuel, alternatively you could try paraffin, petrol if you're very brave. I have a large strap which is generally used for trailers to hold things down. I also use a Kevlar rope on the end of which I've placed a hook with an eye. Both of these are placed into a jug and allowed to soak for two to three minutes. When it's ready, you attach it to your pole. Here I have a hook with a carabiner. At the end of your rope or your strap, you can place a weight. I just use a weight bag for one of my booms. Works just as well. Okay, now we've seen all the items that are required. Let's go outside and see some other things. Okay, so before we go out on location, we need to make sure we know how to extinguish the fire. So in front of me, we have a damp towel. I've got a fire extinguisher just in case. Behind me, I've got the Kevlar rope soaking in Coleman's fuel. What I'm going to do is walk back there, take it out of the jug, take a few steps away and light it, then come here and extinguish it. Okay, now we know how to extinguish a fire, let's go on location and see it done with the Ultima GTR. Alright guys, well now you've seen the tools required to make a firewall, you've seen how to extinguish the fire once it's been lit, and I just want to stress that playing with fire is extremely dangerous. Add to that some flammables that are lying around, things could get very, very nasty very, very quickly. So just, guys, for goodness sake, be safe. Don't do anything stupid. Use your brain. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Well, before you go, and I nearly forgot to mention, silly me, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can do that by clicking here, and what that'll do is ensure that you keep up to date with my videos that I post on YouTube. Alternatively, and what's probably a better idea, is if you go to my Facebook page, the link's in the description, and click like, that'll make sure that you keep up to date with everything that's going on in Van Photography. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. See you later. Stay safe.